So here's the story. Sitting in a bathtub at my hotel. Um, but I just wanted to give a recap of Comic Con Chicago. It was basically amazing. Like, amazing. So good. Um, what made it so good was just the people who were there. I mean, got really good seats for all the panels. Heard some really good news as well. Um, a highlight for me was Carrie Fisher. I was at Star Wars Celebration and I didn't get to see her. So I'm glad that I finally got the chance to see her because I'm a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan. Like seriously, it was amazing. And she was way funnier than I thought she was gonna be, which is also good, um, yeah. And so, uh, lots of videos from that, it was so cool. Then Back to the Future again, the second time I've seen them, I saw them in Philly. Some of the same jokes and stories, but you get that when you go to as many cons as I do. Um, but really, it was just kind of freaking amazing. Uh, so no complaints there either. And then another standout moment is John Berriman. Oh my God, such a stand-up guy. Inspiration to everybody, like so sweet, charming, amazing. Every time you hear him talk, it's so incredible. Even when he tells the same story, like if you've already heard it, you're just captivated by him. Um, I don't know, he's just one of those people, I think, that just can be an inspiration to everybody. And just hearing him engage with fans and his excitement and passion uh, makes you more of a fan. And I think that's really special. And there aren't a lot of celebrities that are like that. Um, another person I really love hearing talk is Milo Ventimiglia. He is so, 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 so sweet. He's real. Um, he's his own little personality and he's a little firecracker. So I really enjoy that and always do. So overall, it was a great weekend in Chicago. I had a good time. Um, I wore my Emma Swan cosplay outfit again, which was good. And Katniss, I always wear Katniss, so there's no big news there. I didn't buy anything, I was tempted, but ended up not doing it. Um, I made some new friends, so overall, it was a good trip. I'm glad I went. I will say this though, I got the Wizard World VIP, like the general VIP, not one associated with a specific celebrity or anything, and it's kind of useless, I'm not sure it's with the upgrade. Like on the first couple of days, they let us sit closer to the front during the panels, which was nice. But then today they were just like, no, you're in general admission. And it's like, okay, why did I spend $150 more just to get no benefits? So I don't really know if I would recommend that or rather in the future, I would just buy a VIP for one of the specific celebrities if that's what I wanted. So yeah. That was my Chicago Comic-Con experience, first time here. It was cool. I think I like Philly more. Uh, but the Daredevil cast was so cool too. I've never seen them before. Netflix like really makes an appearance at these things. So getting to see Charlie Cox and everybody there was really cool. And I think I've been living under a rock because I didn't know he had an English accent. That's my bad. So hearing him talk in person, I was like, oh my God, this is the best day ever. It was really cool. Uh, so that was a special treat for me. So yeah, Chicago Comic Con, two thumbs up. Still have my bracelet on, I have to cut it off at some point. Um, anyways, we'll see you later. And I'm rocking my pink hair wig for no reason. No judging, I just love it. And I wanted to wear it.